Hi everyone, it's Cajun DIY Diva and today we have another DIY easy project. So today's project is to make a like a shopping bag out of two old um, throw pillow covers. So right here I have some throw pillow covers. I've already cut off the zippers. So what I have here is two pillows covers and they're sewn, they're inside out you can still see little pieces of down feathers from the pillow that was stuffed inside of it. Um, so they're inside out and they are um, open on one end. So what I want to do is I want to cut off a piece at the top. I'm going to line them up and cut off a piece at the top to make straps. And I'm just going to eyeball this. You could use a ruler or something if you want. Um, luckily it has a nice uh, geometric print, so I'm just kind of eyeballing from this line. Now, depending on what your fabric is, you could add like another color at the top or at the bottom. You know, you can give, go as fancy with this as you want. Um, so these two pieces now I'm just going to cut one end off, the stitching off. Okay, so this is going to be my strap. And what I'm going to do is just it's got a seam right here, so I want to make sure that you put right sides together. And I am going to fold fold this in half and pin it. I'm not going to do the whole thing because you don't need to watch the whole thing. But basically, just fold it in half, right sides together. I'm going to do this with each one, and I'm just going to put a little seam right here, about a quarter inch seam, and this is going to be my strap. So I'll sew this and turn them inside out, so I'll do both of them. And then for the pillow, so what I'm going to do is pick the one that looks the best on the outside, and turn it Turn it right side out. And then I want to take the other pillow that is uh, wrong side out and put it inside so that when you open it, the right sides will be showing. And so it's going to be a lined bag. So put these together, and then see when you open it, it'll be nice on the outside and nice on the inside. It'll even be reversible. So um, what I'm going to do first is sew my straps, and then we're, what we're going to do is take the straps and uh, I'm going to pin all this together, lining up the little side seams. Making sure it all fits together just right. Line these seams up. and do that on both sides so that they're even and then once I get this sewn together and turned inside out I'm going to line put these on each side we're going to put and you you can kind of test it to see if this is how long you want your handle you may want it shorter 
or you may want it to be like a shoulder bag, so maybe you want it a little longer. I'll I'll leave them. Let's see. I'll do them about about that long, and I'll just cut it off right there, and then I'm going to cut the other one and make sure it's the same length. So I'm going to go sew these uh, together and turn them inside out, and I'll be back. Okay, so I had it wrong a second ago. Um, the way you want to do it is you want to have the right sides together. Basically, it's inside out on the good side. This is the side that's going to be on the outside. It's much easier to do this project if you have two different fabrics and also this fabric kind of looks the same on the right as on the wrong side. So then you tuck in, you have the inner part which is going to be the lining, that tucks into the inside of it where the right sides are going to be together. So you want to Put these together like this so you have the seams on the outside and seams sticking out on the inside. And then you're going to take your, um, your ties, your um, handles that you sewed, and you want to put them I'm just going to kind of eyeball this, but you might want to measure it. So you you pin them on the wrong side like this. And then I'm going to turn it over and make sure that the handles on the other side match up perfectly with the first side. So I've got my side seams even. So let me fix that. And I want to make sure that the one for the other side matches up with the ones on the back. So there's that one, and I'm going to put this handle and kind of turn them so that, you know, you don't want the handle to be twisted. Just put this one there so that it is lining up with the one on the back side. Okay, so here's what you have. You have an outside seam, you have an inside seam showing, and you have handles that are pinned on the outside. And what we're going to do is do a seam all the way across, but I'm going to leave an opening so that I can turn it inside out. So I'm going to go sew that, and I'm going to, you know, pretty up, make sure it's everything's really straight when I go before I sew it and I'll be back okay so I'm back and I just realized that I made a big mistake and you know sometimes you learn as you go on these projects and what my mistake was is that these straps need to be in between these two so instead of um, un you know ripping these out I'm just going to trim these off on all sides. And then I am going to um, open up the seam and I'm going to put these on the inside. Actually, I think I'm just going to cut this top seam off because it will just be easier. And I have enough space. So 
hopefully this video won't be a total fail and this time we'll get it right. So like I said, I want to put, it's good to like figure out where the seam is and maybe put it um, on the outer side each way. So what I want to do is put these in between the right sides and then they will work. And also when you're sewing these straps on, make sure you reinforce the seam by sewing back and forth a few times when you go over the straps. You don't want to have just one line of stitching on those because they can come loose and you know you'll drop your bag and everything will fall all over the place and we don't want that. So yeah that's not straight but I'll fix it. Um, so you see what I'm doing. Now this one can go in between the bottom right sides together. And we'll sew those together. And if I manage to get these to look right and not have any looped straps, I think I'll be happy. Okay, now, well, it's off to the sewing machine again, I think for one last time. So again, I'm just going to make a seam, reinforce where the straps are, and um, leave like a little opening to turn it inside out. So I'll be back. Okay, one last time. I think I got it right this time. So this is how it should look. Your right, your wrong side is on the outside, your wrong side is on the inside, and you can't see the straps because they're in between there. So let's find the opening, and it's right here. We cut these extra threads off. And I'll just reach inside that opening I'm not an expert sewer, and you don't have to be either to do this project. Um, if you're a really good sewer, you're probably going to do this project way better than I did. But it's just something easy and fun to do. Okay, so you see how it comes out. And this looks right. So what you do now is you just tuck in the inside. Whichever side looks better to you is the side you use to be the outside. But this is actually reversible. So if you wanted to use two totally different pillows to start with, you can. Now, you've got the... This is pretty much... The bag is pretty much done right now except for this opening that's still open so and um, this seam could use a good pressing so what I'm going to do is there's how your bag looks and what I'm going to do is press this seam and then I'm going to do a top stitch around this edge and that will hold in these this open part. And that will be the last thing I have to do to complete the bag. So I will be back after I press this and sew the top stitch. Okay, so here's my finished project. So everything's sewn up. I put some white thread as the top stitching just so you could see it. I wanted you to be able to see it on the video. There's the inside of the bag and the handles are on there. They're very sturdy because I reinforced it with stitching. Uh, I just went back and forth 
like three times with when I stitched it so that it would be very reinforced. So my thoughts on the project, um, I think if I would do it again, I would probably make my straps a little bit wider than this because I just think it would probably look a little prettier. I think I would probably use a different, um, if I had like, if I was using pillowcases, I'd probably use a different one on the inside than on the outside, just so it'd have a nice contrast. Um, and um, basically, you know, don't worry about it. Like every time I do a project, I usually have something I mess up, especially sewing projects. But here's some things that you can do also to this project. You could add some trims, like so around the top. Like I said before, you could add a different color of fabric along the top or along the bottom. That would be cute with maybe a trim like this over the seam. Um, it might be cute to put a little tassel hanging right where um, one of the straps comes down. Oh, someone's texting me. Um, so this is Cajun DIY Diva. Um, please, if you like this video, please uh, give me a thumbs up and please um, subscribe to my channel so that I know you like these videos and I'll keep making these kinds of videos. Um, and I hope to see you next time. Later.